Good evening and welcome to St. Stephen's Episcopal Church on this Tuesday, June 16th, the day the church remembers Joseph Butler. I'm so glad you could join me for evening prayer this evening. I invite you to follow along our service in the Book of Common Prayer. Our worship begins tonight on page 115. If you don't have a Book of Common Prayer available, please click on the link in the description, uh, bcponline.org. It's a wonderful way to follow along on your computer. Or simply sit back this evening and allow the prayers to speak to you wherever you may be. And now, as we begin our time in worship, let us pause, take a few deep breaths, and recall the presence of Christ in our midst. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O gracious light. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now, as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our psalm appointed for this evening is part two of Psalm 78, verses 40 through 72, found on page 698 in the Book of Common Prayer. Psalm 78, verses 40 through 72. How often the people disobeyed him in the wilderness and offended him in the desert. Again and again they tempted God and provoked the Holy One of Israel. They did not remember his power in the day when he ransomed them from the enemy. How he wrought his signs in Egypt and his omens in the field of Zoan. He turned the rivers into blood so that they could not drink from their streams. He sent swarms of flies among them which ate them up and frogs which destroyed them. He gave their crops to the caterpillar, the fruit of their toil to the locust. He killed their vines with hail and their sycamores with frost. He delivered their cattle to hailstones and their livestock to hot thunderbolts. He poured out upon them his blazing anger, fury, indignation, and distress, a troop of destroying angels. He gave them full reign to his anger. He did not spare their souls from death, but delivered their lives to the plague. He struck down all the firstborn of Egypt, the flower of manhood in the dwellings of Ham. He led out his people like sheep and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. He led them to safety and they were not afraid, but the sea overwhelmed their enemies. He brought them to his holy land, the mountain his right hand had won. He drove out the Canaanites before them and apportioned an inheritance to them by lot. He made the tribes of Israel to dwell in their tents. But they tested the Most High God and defied him and did not keep his commandments. They turned away and were disloyal like their fathers. They were undependable like a warped bow. They grieved him with their hill altars and provoked his displeasure with their idols. When God heard this, he was angry and utterly rejected Israel. He forsook the shrine at Shiloh, the tabernacle where he had lived among his people. He delivered the ark into captivity, his glory into the adversary's hand. He gave his people to the sword and was angered against his inheritance. The fire consumed their young men. There were no wedding songs for their maidens. Their priest fell by the sword and their widows made no lamentation. 
Then the Lord woke as though from sleep, like a warrior refreshed with wine. He struck his enemies on the backside and put them to perpetual shame. He rejected the tent of Joseph and did not choose the tribe of Ephraim. He chose instead the tribe of Judah and Mount Zion, which he loved. He built his sanctuary like the heights of heaven, like the earth which he founded forever. He chose David his servant and took him away from the sheepfolds. He brought him from following the ewes to be a shepherd over Jacob his people and over Israel his inheritance. So he shepherded them with a faithful and true heart and guided them with the skillfulness of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. As they were gathering in Galilee, Jesus said to the disciples, The Son of Man is to be delivered into the hands of men, and they will kill him and he will be raised on the third day. And they were greatly distressed. When they came to Capernaum, the collectors of the half-shekel tax went up to Peter and said, Does not your teacher pay the tax? He said, Yes. And when he came home, Jesus spoke to him first, saying, What do you think, Simon? From whom do kings of the earth take toll or tribute? From their sons or from others? And when he said, From others, Jesus said to him, Then the sons are free. However, not to give offense to them, go to the sea and cast a hook, and take the first fish that comes up. And when you open its mouth, you will find a shekel. Take that and give it to them for me and for yourself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Song of Simeon. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages be that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat you, O Lord, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, we entreat you, O Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, we entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world, we entreat you, O Lord, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ, we entreat you, O Lord. 
that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, blessed Stephen, blessed Joseph, and all your saints, and trusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. A collect for the feast of Joseph Butler. O God, by your Holy Spirit, you give to some the word of wisdom, to others the word of knowledge, and to others the word of faith. We praise your name for the gifts great for the gifts of grace manifested in your servant Joseph Butler. And we pray that your church may never be destitute of such gifts. Through Jesus Christ our Lord who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A collect for aid against perils. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Prayer for mission. O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you, all nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite your own prayers of intercession or thanksgiving. And please feel free to leave those prayer requests in the comment section below. For our parish members and friends who are ill, infirm, or in need, including Leo, Rob, Ben, Eleanor, Samuel, Matthew, Roberta, Phil, Joan, Eloise, Pete, Pamela, Mary and Scott, Kate, Loretta, Leonard, May, Kathy, Bridget, Katie and Doug and their children, Bryce, Meredith and her family, Bill, Brooke, George, Nicholas, Jordan, Gladys, Nancy, Jean. For the repose of the soul of David, for his family and friends who mourn. For those we name with our lips or in our hearts. For those we may name in the comment section below. For those whom have asked our prayers but we cannot recall at this time. O God of compassion, giver of life and health, we pray your healing mercies upon all who are in any way affected by the outbreak of the COVID-19 coronavirus. Comfort and sustain those who have been stricken, relieve their pain, and restore to them your gifts of gladness and strength. Grant to all in authority the courage to make wise decisions that are essential for the common good, and strengthen them to lead institutions that care for those whom they serve. Watch over all first responders and those in the medical professions whose duty it is to care for the sick. Guard them, Lord Christ, from all danger, and keep them safe in the knowledge that it is through their sacrifice and service that the health of the whole community is promoted. Mercifully accept these our prayers, O God of all comfort, and our only help in time of need. Amen. Our worship concludes this evening with the prayer of St. Christostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. 
Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And may the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. I invite you to join me again tomorrow morning at 8.30 for morning prayer right here from St. Stephen's. I wish you all God's peace this evening. Stay safe and stay healthy. Amen.